Thank you. Thank you. So, interesting thing about uh, these young men, um, again, what we wanted to do was really just have an opportunity for um, the young men to go to the next level in terms of leadership. So, we really wanted to um, just go through and say, um, work on leadership development, but also give back to the community in a very special way. And, and then go through different leadership activities. Uh, so that's why we, we actually went through, we uh, hand selected these young men. Uh, and part of what we're doing here is building you know, a legacy. We're building a network. So what we wanted to do was really move from high school to college into the professional ranks. So this organization is really built to do that. Um, we're not, not only doing it here at Locally Charlotte, we're eventually going to expand. And these are the young men that are actually going to be the starting foundation of what we're building. So every year we'll have a, a different set of ambassadors. Uh, and then as they continue to grow, once you're an ambassador, you're always an ambassador. So, yes. I know I didn't tell you that, but you, you, get, you get to learn stuff from me uh, you know, as we go along. So, um, so keep your jackets. <laughs> um, and again, as, as you grow, we, we would expect you guys to be sitting in the chairs here very soon. Um, as you go into college, we, we would expect, as we send next year, as we send young men to your colleges, we expect you guys to host them. Um, so it's part of, the, part of the deal. So we expect you guys to create your own organizations. Um, when you become doctors and engineers and lawyers, we expect you guys to invest back into the community, invest back into your organization, and continue to build it up. So that's the process. Um, so I'm gonna go through just real quick here, Mr. Jabari, Jabari Parks. Mr. Barney, uh, great, one of my favorite guys. You'll hear me say that quite often. Uh, one of my favorite guys, Mr. Jabari. Um, you know, what I love about him, as Tammy says, he's always smiling. He's got a big smile on his face all the time. Look at him. <laughs> always smiling. Uh, the second thing that I really enjoy about Jabari, uh, he's a family man. Um, whenever you see him, you generally see his mother and his sister. Um, and he cares a lot about his family. Uh, and that's one of the things that um, he recently received the, the award and he talked about his mother and he talked about how much strength she has given him. And just through the, the mountains that, you, that he has climbed. Uh, he's already a, a young leader, so I really appreciate that, Mr. Jabari Cruz. All right, that's, last but not least, Mr. Marshall. All right, Mr. Marshall. One of my favorite guys. I really like, I like spending time with Marshall, as with everyone else. Um, so interesting enough, when I, when I saw Marshall's application come across, I'm thinking, this is a, mis this is a mistake. He's got a 5.2 grade point average. Who in the world has a 5.2 grade point average? And I read through his, I read through his bio, and he says, you know, I've only gotten A's my whole academic life. I had one B, and that was in PE because I couldn't run the mile fast enough. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? And, 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 but, but you know what? When, I, when I'm, thinking, I'm thinking in my head, okay, this is going to be one of the really weird guys. That's really but when I meet Marshall, I'm like, well, it can't be this guy because he's, you know, he's so energetic, he's so talkative, um, he's always there. He's always, you know, got a good word for him. Um, a good, another, my last funny story about, about Marshall. So, and, and he probably doesn't even recognize this. So, we're sitting in the kitchen, we're going through some planning stages. And, where's Wesley? Wesley, raise your hand. So, Wesley was talking about, and I forgot which one it was. He was talking about a, an AP test. Um, was it chemistry or something? Or? Yeah, it might have been AP, yeah, it was AP US history. So, Marshall, or, uh, Wesley was talking about AP US history. He goes up to Marshall and says, hey Marshall, I hear you were in AP, oh, I, yeah, I hear you were in AP calculus class. I just need some tips on, you know, what do you do to, to, to pass the AP Catholic class? So Marshall goes, well, I just took the class. <laughs> and I go to Wesley, I said, talking to the wrong. Marshall just kept moving like, like, oh, uh, duh, you know. <laughs> I said, Wesley, you probably talk to one of these other kids. <laughs> they probably got some tips. Marshall just got smart. <laughs> but again, you know. Yeah. yeah, and then all these guys are laughing, it's like, 
know, when Marshall's talking about he's going to be a double <laughs> engineering major at MIT. Yeah. But again, just a humble guy. What I really like about him, when you ask him about, you know, what's his secret to success, his answer is always hard work. Hard work. So yes, sir. He, he's like, I'm not really, I'm smart, but I'm not really that smart, but I work really hard. I work, I outwork everybody. Although my team does not know, we are setting the standard here with our ambassadors. So each one of these ambassadors will get a brand new suit. Wow. And so what we want to do is move them to the level of business. We've been training them through leadership luncheons. We've been training them through meeting with business professionals. We want to make sure that when they go and represent YBM, represent you as a family, represent us as a community, that they are looking sharp. So you guys are seeing there, you'll have a certificate to get back to us with your suit measurements. Um, get that back to us and we'll make sure we get you guys suited up. All right. Oh. All right. All right, last one before we break. I'm going to make this one quick. Uh, on to our scholarship. So, Mr. Alan Hendricks, please stand. You're not getting a scholarship, but come on up. <laughs> Wait, what school are you going to? <laughs> All right. So Mr. Hendricks here is our golf director, our YBM Open director. He has been working for the last several years. All right. Our third young man is actually the top scholar award. So this young man not only has the highest grade point average, but also works the hardest but also was there at all of our events and participated in all the things that we did. Um, so we're excited to uh, give Mr. Marshall credit. Yeah. You guys have an opportunity to see Mr. Marshall Kraft on television this Friday coming up. Uh, he's actually did an interview today and it'll be on WSOC uh, on Friday. All right. Awesome. All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna, just real quick, the young man, if you guys would see me in the back back here, all, all of our ambassadors, or excuse me, all the young men, come in the back back here. Um, we're actually, no, there's actually a room in the back. We me in the room in the back, uh, give you guys the um, surveys, and then we're gonna take a quick picture. Or we do gotta vacate the space so they can actually have the space here. So, young man, if you guys are with me in the back room back here, just follow Mr. Allen. He's gonna raise his hand and send you guys a